Strong winds, colder temps, and some of you will see rain and snow. Byron's timing it all out for us. Yeah, I think parts of New Mexico could look like this. West of Colorado Springs, Woodland Park, Colorado right now. Look at the snow. 27 degrees there with the snow falling and slick roads there as well. That snow falling in Colorado through Colorado Springs and also in the mountains of Colorado is heading to the south. We have quiet skies over Albuquerque. Not a record warm day, but it was still well above average at 68 to 69 degrees. Strong canyon winds for tonight and a big cool down tomorrow. Grab the jackets. You'll need a rain and snow showers for some of us as well. So that wind advisory in effect for Albuquerque down through Los Lunas and Blinn. Generally the strongest winds east of I-25. Gusts could be 50 plus miles per hour. That's 11 o'clock tonight to 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. And you see that with the wind forecast by 11 o'clock tonight, we're already feeling those winds. The foothills and the foothills that expands into the northeast heights and also Knob Hill down to the south of that to the southeast side of the city. All the way through tomorrow morning, we're going to have the strong winds on the east side of the metro. They won't really calm down until mid morning and it will feel like it's in the middle 20s. Those are the wind chills across the metro as you head off to work in school. So make sure you have lots of layers. Notice the impact winds after midnight into the morning hours with those dropping temperatures here in the metro as well. It will be dry in the metro for tonight. Look at the statewide forecast with Future Track Planner and notice as we go through the night, those showers will pick up across northeast, eastern New Mexico and also to the southeastern part of the state. Blue is snow, green is rain. Pink is a mix of rain and snow. We can see snow up around the Raton Pass area through the day tomorrow. Snow showers also over the northern mountains of New Mexico. Rain into the southeast and check out these temperatures. 80s in Roswell today, 40s tomorrow. Rain in Carlsbad and will only be 50 degrees in Albuquerque after temperatures right around 70 this afternoon. Tomorrow night into early Friday, another wave of moisture begins to work in. That could clip Albuquerque with a rain or snow shower late tomorrow night into early Friday. And then the southern half of the state will see a good chance of showers around for Friday. Chilly temperatures for all parts of New Mexico. Heaviest snow across the northern mountains of New Mexico, a few inches possible. Notice around Raton, the Raton Pass the light coating there. Tomorrow night into early Friday, we'll have to watch southern New Mexico. Areas around Socorro, maybe even Rodoso could see some of that snow. Farmington, Durango, Chinle, Gallup, and Grants. Slight chance of a snow shower for the San Juans, but Farmington, you stay dry. Chilly, though, 50 for the high. Morning temperatures in the 20s. Southwest New Mexico, we're looking at Silver City, Lordsburg, dimming into Las Cruces. Cooler temperatures tomorrow, but rain picking up tomorrow night into Friday. And look at that. Highs only in the 50s in Silver City for Friday, Saturday. A big drop in temperatures. Were those so Alamogordo, Roswell, Carlsbad, and Hobbs. You are in the 80s in Roswell today. Only 40s tomorrow with rain. Continuing rain and 50s for your Friday. Snow likely for the Sacramento Mountains around Rodoso and Cloudcroft. Raton, Las Vegas, and also into Santa Rosa, Moriarty. This is the area that will feel the big chill and the best chance of snow showers. Las Vegas, a high of 38 degrees with those snow showers tomorrow. Could be some slick travel out there. And for Santa Fe, Los Alamos, Taos, the northern mountains of New Mexico, the east slopes of the northern mountains will see snowfall. Santa Fe, a slight chance of a shower mid 40s tomorrow and only 47 on Friday in Santa Fe. Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, Los Lunas and Malin. Yeah, we're not looking at 70s on the seven day forecast. Only 50 tomorrow. Strong canyon winds early impact weather in the morning and then a chance of rain or snow shower tomorrow night and early Friday as we dip toward freezing. And then for the weekend, we're finally seeing 60s back on that seven day after Veterans Day on Sunday. But yeah, the next uh, 24 hours could be pretty tough out there. Doug and Shelley.